Hi dear students, we are going to see in analog electronics some PYQ question which is looking very interesting for me to teach. Let us see, this is a MOSFET question related, let us understand some basic concept behind this topic. It is given actually in gate 2022 okay? and uh, you can read the complete question one time carefully. The ideal long channel NMOS and PMOS devices shown in the circuits. They have shown already two MOSFETs side by in the problem. One is NMOS and one is PMOS. NMOS they have represented, PMOS they have represented. That is the first point he said. The next what he is telling is threshold voltages of the two MOSFETs are 1 volt and minus 1. For PMOS the threshold voltage is 1 volt he has given. For uh, sorry, for NMOS it has given 1 volt, for PMOS it has given minus 1. The MOSFETs substrates are connected to the respective sources. Okay. Ignore the leakage currents, so there is no leakage currents. Assuming that the capacitors are initially discharged, the meaning of initially discharged is the capacitor does not have any voltage. So, it is an empty capacitor you can feel in the concept. The next for the applied voltages are shown, the steady state voltages are, he is asking you for these two MOSFETs they have given some voltages V1 and V2. This is V1 and second one is V2. He is asking across V1 and V2 what are the voltages you can find out. At that time the capacitor is in steady state value. So, what is the meaning of steady state first point? Here I am writing a concept here, simple concept, concept, steady state. First point is steady state. This word first we will understand. The steady state, if I talk about capacitor, steady state. If I talk about steady state capacitor, steady state is nothing but DC we can say. So, no change. So, at that time the capacitor will be, capacitor is taken as open circuit. So, in steady state position the capacitor will become a open circuit. Therefore, here you have open, here we have open. So, we have the capacitor in open condition. At that time what is V1 and what is V2 is asking in the question. First student have some uh, doubt will come here because in analog our symbols will be different. Maybe the symbols they have given in the style of digital electronics which we follow in digital most probably. You can see here if I write a MOSFET like this, this is the type which we follow in analog electronics. This is a symbol which we can say for NMOS, NMOS symbol very easily you can identify this is gate, this is source and this is drain because wherever the arrow represents that will be the source. But in the given problem we do not have any arrows in the concept that may confuse the student. Let me explain you in a simple manner now that symbol idea first. If this is NMOS, we can also represent that NMOS as like this without showing anything, without showing anything we can write like this drain, this is source, this is gate. So, without showing arrow also we can treat it as an NMOS. Then how to identify where is source, where is drain? If you see here 5 volts is one side, V1 is one side. Then how to identify this trick is, one thing a student should learn in NMOS VDS will be positive, first you must know this knowledge. Drain to source voltage will be positive, that means the drain is the higher potential, source is the lower potential. So, if you see in this diagram, this is higher potential, this side we have lower potential, V1 will become the lower potential from that. So, 5 is your higher potential there. So, that means the drain is higher potential. So, we can expect uh, this position is drain and this position becomes the source. Like this easily you can identify the terminals. Because of this technique, I identified now the capacitor is connected here. The capacitor is connected with a voltage of V1. So, according to this topic, this is the representation you can understand. Where the drain potential he has given is 5 volts, that is Vd he has given as 5 volts. 
and the gate voltage he has given as 5 volts. So, this diagram and this diagram looks same for you now. Now, the point here is to make the MOSFET on how much of the maximum capacitor can charge. If the MOSFET is not on capacitor cannot charge, if MOSFET comes into on it will charge. What is the basic condition for a MOSFET and MOS to get on? So, we have on condition, we have off condition for MOSFET. You can see here VGS if you take less than VT your NMOS will be off. This everybody knows this is a very simple condition less than threshold NMOS will be off. If the VGS is greater than or equal to threshold NMOS will become on. So, your gate to source voltage should be greater than or equal to threshold voltage is required. But if you take VGS minimum on condition, maybe the capacitor can charge the maximum voltage. So, what is VGS minimum to be on here? VGS minimum to be on is it should be equal to threshold voltage. You have to get threshold voltage exactly if you take VGS minimum, just you can make the MOSFET on. So, the threshold given in the problem is 1 volt. The minimum is 1 volt, so we can have this answer as 1 volt. So, now the MOSFET is on. If it is on, the capacitor can charge 5 minus 1, the V1 will become here 4 volts. So, the capacitor can charge up to 4 volts in steady state value. So, like this for NMOS, we got the answer V1 as 4 volts. The same story we can apply for the PMOS also. In the second concept, if you observe, he has given some bubble here. In digital most probably we see this symbol, whenever you see a bubble then we call it as a not symbol technique that is NMOS is converting into PMOS. If the bubble is missing in the MOSFET we call it as NMOS, if the bubble is there we call it as PMOS. Now, what is the PMOS symbol here? If you observe the PMOS symbol, the PMOS looks like this. In general analog, we show the symbol in this manner. Uh, the source, this is source, this is drain and this is gate. In general, this is the symbol we show for PMOS in analog electronics. But most probably in digital electronics, we do not show any arrows in the digital. The symbol can be notified, this symbol can be shown like this. A bubble we have to show with a source and drain. This will become gate. These two are same. Okay, both are looking same. This is with the arrow, without arrow. We can teach like this. PMOS. Then, uh, in this case, what happens is VSD becomes positive. In PMOS, what is happening is VSD becomes positive means source becomes the higher potential, drain becomes the lower potential. So, as the source is higher potential, you can see this 5 volts is the higher voltage you have given. So, this becomes the source now, like this you can identify and this side becomes the drain. In this manner easily you can identify where is source, where is drain. So, the source potential Vs is 5 volts here and gate potential is minus 5 and uh, here we have a capacitor which is 1 microfarad and this is your V2. So, this is the way you can see this circuit like this, second circuit. Now, the point is how much the voltage will come across the capacitor? Whenever the capacitor is in steady state, what will be the voltage is asking? First of all, this PMOS is in on condition or off condition, how to check is important. If you see here, if I take VGS voltage suppose, this plus, this minus. I am not taking VSG, I am taking VGS only in the class. If VGS, if you take, the answer will be, VGS is coming to be minus 5, minus 5, it will be minus 10 volts. So, VGS is coming to be, minus 10 volts is coming. What is the meaning of this minus 1 indicates is, threshold voltage who will take always VGS only in the NMOS and PMOS notation, one case it will become plus 1, one case it will become minus 1. 
So now the value is Vj is minus 10 we got. So to make the PMOS to be on whatever the condition we studied here we have to make it reverse condition for the study of PMOS. So Vj is now in the concept it should be less than or equal to threshold voltage. Your condition is now reverse to make on without changing the notation if you study like this only condition should be reverse you can teach the class in this manner. Vjs is now minus 10 should be less than or equal to minus 1 I think this condition is correct. So you can say that uh, your MOSFET is in on condition your MOSFET is in on. So finally the PMOS is also getting on in the condition if the PMOS gets on in the condition now the Vgs the whatever the 5 volts you have given easily you can charge to the capacitor directly 5 volts you can charge because there is a open circuit here the total 5 will come here. So the capacitor V2 the V2 will become 5 volts. So it is going to charge the total 5 volts whatever you are giving the 5 volts from the source that will go to the train voltage which is equal to 5 volts. So for this question if you see the interesting point in this question is if the person study analog electronics most of the questions it deal with uh, this symbols. But a student can learn some extra point in this question where a symbol of NMOS and PMOS can also be represented in a different manner which is giving some idea for us where the source potential where the drain potential how to identify we can learn from this concept by using a technique called VDS greater than 0 for NMOS VSD greater than 0 for PMOS with this technique easily you can solve this question. For this question V1 we got 4 volts in steady state and V2 we got it as 5 volts. So the answer will be option C will be the correct answer for this question. Thank you.